Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com. Um, three days from now, Floyd Mayweather is going to fight Shane Mosley. Um, a bunch of viewers have asked me how I would structure the bet. In this video, I'm going to talk about exactly that. And I'm going to refer to the odds that are posted right now on a European website. And I'm not condoning illegal gambling in the United States online. But there are jurisdictions worldwide where online gaming is allowed. And in the United States, of course, those in Vegas and Atlantic City and in some other jurisdictions can gamble legally. I'd like for people to just take a look at the odds posted on German website intertops.com they have Floyd listed as a minus 450 to win the fight they have two props that interest me quite a bit one is Shane Mosley by KO plus 650 what that means is you um, uh, when you bet a hundred you win six hundred and fifty dollars if that prop hits and Floyd by KO at plus 325 now You've heard me in videos talk about straddles, uh, hedging a bet. Uh, those of you who read financial pages know that uh, there are hedge funds out there and the idea is to hedge your bet. Same principles apply here. Before I go further, let me just say that I'm a big believer that the only opinion you should follow when gambling your money, the final opinion, should be yours because the risk is yours and your money is hard earned. So please, don't consider me or anyone else an expert. Don't believe in experts. Just consider me to be the person in the bar next to you on the bar stool, just giving you his views on the fight. You can consider it. You can ignore it. But let's have a conversation about it so we can both learn. Okay? Now, the first thing is, while I believe firmly that Floyd Mayweather is going to win this fight, um, if you could make a bet, and uh, literally win some money if uh, an unexpected occurrence took place without losing money if in fact the favorite won the fight then that's something you might want to consider so if the minus 450 odds which are terrible right for Floyd to win you have to bet four hundred and fifty dollars to win a hundred if those odds are just not to your liking and if you're intrigued by Shane Mosley by KO at plus 650 and you have looked at Shane Mosley's record on BoxRec.com and other sites and you realize that Shane Mosley is an optical illusion in other words Shane Mo uh, Mosley is a slugger he is one of the hardest punchers pound for pound in the sport but yet he seems to be considered because of hand speed to be a boxer so if you feel like I do that Shane Mosley's only chance of winning this fight is by knockout but if you feel that Shane has a puncher's chance and you want to take advantage of that but you don't want to lose money if Shane loses the fight then what I want you to consider doing and it's expensive right is um, if you bet, this is your base bet, $450, and you can juggle the numbers and change the fractions to bet less than $450. I'm just saying $450 because it links with the odds so viewers will understand what I'm saying. If you bet $450 on Floyd and Floyd wins the fight by knockout or by decision, you'll win a hundred dollars okay that should be your straddle position if you are simply just trying to bet on Shane Mosley by knockout right don't fly naked and bet on Shane Mosley by knockout throw a hundred dollars on him and then when he loses the fight you're just out of luck you want a setup where you bet on Shane he loses the fight and you're still covered so here you bet $450 on Floyd. The $100 you would win if Floyd wins the fight, you want to put that on Shane Mosley by knockout. Okay, now understand, 
I don't believe Shane can win this fight by decision. You need to go by your risk tolerance and your own expectations on the fight. There are many out there who believe that Shane Mosley has a chance to win a decision. I'm not one of them. Those of you who've read my book know the first chapter of the book, uh, Gambler, GamblersAdvisory.com's How to Bet on Boxing, talks about eliminating outcomes. I believe here the outcome I'd eliminate is Shane Mosley to win by decision. So, 450 on Floyd, just to win the fight, take the 100 that you would win if that bet hits, and put it on Shane Mosley to win by KO. Here's what'll happen. If Floyd wins the fight as expected, you don't lose any money because you'll win the $100 that you ultimately use to bet on Shane by KO. But if Shane Mosley wins the fight by KO, then you actually get 100 times 6.5 because he's a plus 650. So you would get 650 back minus the 450 you would lose that you would bet on Floyd. So you would net $200. So in essence, if you believe that Shane Mosley has a puncher's chance and you just want to take a stab at it, and you don't want the casino to have any of your money, then based on the odds listed on Intertops, by betting 450 on Floyd simply to win and 100 on Shane to win by knockout, you have a chance at winning $200 and you don't lose any money if Floyd wins the fight. Understand the risk, though. If the outcome you've eliminated hits, if Shane wins by decision, then you would lose it all. The 450 plus the 100, you'd be out $550. Welcome to gambling. Let's talk about structuring the bet if you believe in Floyd Mayweather, because this minus 450, terrible odds. But... What if I told you that there's a chance you could bet on Floyd and even protect yourself from a lucky punch that Shane Mosley, a very hard hitter, might throw, right? And the way to do that, again, let's just break out the math. This is, these are the odds right now on intertops.com. It's 11.32 p.m. my time on April the 28th Pacific time. I'm on the West Coast in America right? Bet 450 on Floyd just to win the fight, right? Now the 100 you would win, right? You're going to bet an additional $100 just like you would with the Shane Mosley thing, but here you want to bet $75 of that 100 you would win on Shane by KO. You want to bet the other 25 at plus 325 on Floyd by KO. Let's say you've done a lot of research and you know Shane doesn't move his head. You know that Floyd Mayweather decapitates guys who don't move their heads because his left hook's that good. Look at the Diego Corrales fight. You know Floyd has a chance, quite frankly, to win this fight by knockout. More of a chance to do so than he did against one Manuel Marquez. So, my point to you is this. If you bet 25 on Floyd to win by knockout, 450 on Floyd just to win the fight, and 75 on Shane to um, win by knockout, here's what will happen. If Floyd wins by knockout, you win 25 times 3.25, you win $81.25 plus the $100 that you win for betting the 450, and of course you get the 450 back, right? Minus the $75 that you would lose on the Shane Mosley part of the bet. So you would clear $106.25. Let's say that Floyd's on his way to a win. Shane, very strong puncher, lands a punch and knocks out Floyd. Here's the beauty of it. The insurance you pay, the $75 that you bet on Shane Mosley by knockout, would actually, 75 times 6.5, because it's plus 650 odds, would get you $487.50, more than insuring the 450 you bet on Floyd just to win the fight, and the additional 25 that you bet on Floyd by knockout. Juggle the numbers.